you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, can someone be an introvert and also have social anxiety? Answer by Holly Robertson. Sure, and bless you for knowing that they are and one in the same. I am becoming annoyed by the number of how can I become less of an introvert questions, where in the details they are talking about shyness or social anxiety. Introversion isn't going to change, it is a neurological difference dictating your energy level when it comes to social interactions. But social anxiety and shyness are mutable, I am living proof of that. I hate both, and introversion, but put shyness and social anxiety in the rearview mirror. Answer by, Danielle Veskander. Yes. And while the listed answers by folks such as Steve Alcandros go extensively into the social anxiety aspect of the answer, I think it is well worth adding that it isn't limited to introverts either. Both introverts and extroverts can have it. For different reasons usually, but the effects are the same. The main difference would be that for an introvert it may simply amplify their existing tendencies to be solitary. While an extrovert who is drawn to the social spotlight has to balance that internal struggle between the two. It by no means do either introversion or extroversion make social anxiety a non-issue. Answer by Anna Butler. Of course. Anyone can suffer from social anxiety, introverts and extroverts. Social anxiety is a fear of being adversely judged or rejected by others. It makes people uncomfortable in the company of people they don't know, so parties, networking events, even going out in public with people they do know can make them feel uncomfortable and anxious. Introversion and extroversion simply relate to how each gain slash lose energy. Introverts find too much external stimuli drains their energy since it appears they may be more sensitive to the effects of dopamine. This is why introverts tend to prefer smaller row or less frequent social gatherings. It takes a lot of mental and physical stamina to engage in lots of social activities. That said, introverts can be quite capable of being the life of the party if they've had enough time to mentally prepare for an event. Conversely, extroverts may be less sensitive to dopamine, so they need more stimuli to feel the same effects. This is why too much time alone can be taxing on them and make them feel listless and antsy. Being around people or in stimulating environments helps them feel charged. That said, even extroverted party animals will probably appreciate some time to rest and relax between social engagements. 